Hi, my name is Kate. I'm also known as Two Little Kids. Welcome to my 22nd floss tube. Today I'm going to try and keep it pretty quick because I don't have a lot of time over the weekend to edit as well as the fact that I don't have a lot of time to record but I have a couple of things that I want to chat about so let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is kind of the elephant in the room. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have probably potentially noticed that I unfortunately did not go on my trip that I was super excited about. Basically, in a nutshell, my husband had a work trip the whole week before I was supposed to leave and someone uh, came to visit and then tested positive for COVID. So he got exposed and we had to assume that given the, the hospitalizations and doctor visits and tests and more tests that he had done recently, that if he actually had COVID, then it could be life threatening for him. So he came home a day early and I yeah, got the house ready before he arrived so that he could isolate in the master bedroom and let my kids know what was going on and yeah I was very shattered to not be able to go on my trip that whole weekend was pretty shitty yeah I can't I can't put it into words how disappointing it was to miss out on something I'd been planning for almost three months but it is what it is. I can't go and change time and can't really blame anything except bad circumstances. And thankfully, my husband tested each day, uh, each, like each morning after he got back home and kept testing negative. And so on Tuesday, which was day five, he tested negative and had no symptoms still. So we made the call to just stop having him isolate in the house. So we're... We're back to to normal basically it was um yeah the insult to injury of me missing my trip was having to continue solo parenting for five more days because yeah he was unable to, to come and help and play and all of that kind of stuff with the family and but yeah i got some lovely flowers from my mum so thank you to my mum i got lots of comments of from my friends when I, I complained about the situation to them of um, trying to, they were trying to brainstorm how to make it work and stuff and it was like, it wasn't gonna work. I, I'd already canceled the flights, I'd already canceled the hotel and I, I did that those things pretty quickly uh, because I didn't want to have an excuse to, to ponder on Friday. Oh, but I could make it work, but yeah, so so that sucks and I am okay now. I was not okay on Thursday uh, and yeah, most of last weekend. I'm not great, but I'm okay now. <laughs> so we'll move on to something a bit more pleasant to talk about. I have two finished pieces this week and they are the same thing because I was batch stitching them as you will have seen in previous floss tubes. So I have these two pieces of the new pattern that's available on my website called Store Bought. There is a pink version that you can pick as well. All three color versions, because this is blue and this one's purple. All three color versions uh, are available in the single pattern itself. So you can choose however you like it to, to look. I, I actually think the purple looks really nice. So I'll be sending these off ASAP, basically. I'm hoping tomorrow. I'm hoping I can get them in the mail tomorrow for my customer because these two were commissions. She wanted the molecule and similar wording. And I, if you didn't know the story, I was like, hey, I'm working on a pattern that already says something like that. And here's roughly what it looks like, which it looks totally different now. It was so rough when I showed it to her. She was like, yes, that's amazing, it's perfect. So I, yeah, finished it off and 
finish them off. And she wanted one for her friend and one for herself. So perfect. So those are my two finished pieces this week. Again, that's those two. And again, you can get it on my my store, on my website. It's only $3, so go get it. Moving on to works in progress. So the first work in progress is my own version of that pattern. Uh, you can't tell yet, but I'm going to be doing the pink version to keep for myself. And I'm, I'm stitching it in a bigger hoop because I was annoyed at how small the, the six inch hoop was to, to work in. So it's in a bigger hoop and I'm doing it on white because I ran out of, I ran out of this color. So you can tell the difference. So, oh, and there's the back of these ones. There's the back of those two. But yeah, so I'm working on the pink version and I'm going to keep this one for myself. I'm going to take photos of it so that I can put it on the listing too once I'm completed it. And, and that'll show that there's a pink version as well. So there's that one. The next one is my Pretty Little LA. I haven't done a lot on this, but I was feeling really sad about the news with the trip. So I wanted to spend some time working on something that was for me. So I've been working on white, so you can't really tell what I've done. But basically this car down here, uh, this building here, and I think that's all of the white I've done so far. The clouds obviously are going to get white in them too. But yeah, as I mentioned last time I talked about this being a work in progress, I'm doing the, the stitching in colour order as per the, the pattern has it listed out. But I'm breaking from that to do the, the white because I'm planning on doing a blog post in the near future that talks about making sure to stitch white on white. So I am, I've taken all my photos before I started stitching and now I just gotta do all the, the white and then I'll have all the content I need. So anyway, so that is that one. Again, this is for me, I have no rush working on this piece. I just, I needed to take a breather uh, last weekend and yeah. I like stitching on 18 count. I like how small it is. So I will, I will hold them up next to each other. You might be able to see the difference in size. If you don't know the, the way that they are measured this is 14 count, this is 18 count. 14 count just means that there are 14 squares per inch. 18 count means that there's 18 squares per inch. So the higher the number for Ada fabric, the smaller the squares will be. The more you know. So that's that one. The next things I have in progress are my therapist gifts and they're coming along really nicely. I needed to take a break from them as well because I'm almost done with all of them as you'll be able to to see so I'm working on you can't see with this one I'm working on hair now but this is the first one now we we get to some hair I probably in hindsight should have done my daughter's hair first and like gotten that over with because I'll be obviously stitching her hair quite a number of times. And the last one. So that's, that's the therapist gifts. They're other, they're all going to be in a hoop that's this size. I just, when I was stitching them, I, I didn't have any more three inch hoops, but I do have some now. So that like they're going to be this size. So these ones it will be this one, this size. That makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But those are those ones, and I got to get them done this weekend. These ones actually no, these ones aren't as urgent. I need to get them done before Friday next week. I'm recording this on Friday the 29th. Um, so I gotta get them done before next Friday, which when you're watching this will be this Friday. Uh, the the two bigger ones have days that I gotta get them done though. 
because uh, my daughter will be seeing them like during the week. Anyway, there's those ones. They're, I'm happy with how those are coming along. I am super glad I did them as torso up. Yeah, just a lot less to stitch. <laughs> and the, the last batch of stuff that I'm, I've been working on this week, there are other things that I have in progress that you've seen over the last like two or three floss tubes, but I haven't done any stitching on them, so I'm not going to share those. But the other pieces I have in progress are the teacher pieces for my, my daughter to give out. And these ones, I'm stitching them currently in five inch hoops, but I think I'm going to put them in a four inch hoop to give them because the five inch hoop is just quite large. So I'm currently actively working on these ones. Like when I pick up something to work on, it's these. Because uh, these ones I need to have done by Monday. This is the one I'm, I have floss on. I'm about to do her t-shirt. And then I'll be doing that t-shirt. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're coming along. I'm not worried about not meeting my deadline. I will just have to do a lot of stitching this weekend, basically. I'm, I'm going to encourage my husband to just sort of chill on the couch in the evenings with me so I have someone to talk to and, <laughs> and yeah, I'll just watch him play games or something like that. But So that'll be, that'll be good to have these all done and handed out. I am looking forward to, to getting feedback. I always love to know how, what people think of them, uh, even if it's just like, oh, and they're just being polite. I'll still, I'll still take that as, as a positive, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all the works in progress I have, which is, ugh, it is a little bit tricky to keep up with, but as, as I've said, this one is for me, this one is not urgent. And if I didn't make it clear, this one is for me and this is also not urgent, but like if I had to pick between these two to work on, I would do this one first because then I can take the photos and put it on the website. So. But the more important ones are all the stuff that I got to get done for next week because, oh gosh, but I'll be able to do it. So the things that I've gotten this week as a haul, as I mentioned, I got some more three inch hoops. I will be transferring the ones that are currently being stitched in three inch hoops into these ones just purely because they've got this BS blue thing on the metal. If you don't know the torture, that is the blue covering on this then you're lucky but these ones don't have it so i just don't feel like picking all the blue off this weekend i've got other things i need to do <laughs> so i got these and i i also have some more stitch pouches that are apparently arriving today so what i'm going to do is take a photo or a video of them because i cannot wait to to get them uh but I, I couldn't wait to record this before I got them because I got to pick my kids up from school pretty soon. But anyway, I am super excited to, to get those. I got a bunch of different sizes and one of them is specifically to fit this big hoop in it. So that'll be like my Satsuma Street pattern holder, I guess. I just made my needle winders attached to each other. Oops. Okay, and I also got a little sticker. I ordered a sticker from her too, so. I will, yeah, I will show that off in editing magic. Otherwise, I, I haven't gotten anything new, but that's okay. I don't need to have something, I don't, I mean, I'd love to have awesome new stuff all the time, but that's not realistic, so. If anything, I don't have enough room. <laughs> what you don't see on, on camera is probably for the best, because this is just, stuff everywhere. Moving on to a question for you guys. I want to continue doing more mental health cross stitch pattern designs similar to to my store bought one because keeping on top of someone's mental health has become important to me not just like my own mental health so voicing the struggles that I've been through personally, 
sort of breaking down the taboo of, of talking about someone's mental health and that, you know, it's okay to not be okay. I, I want other people who maybe grew up where it was unacceptable to be depressed or found out later in life that they're neurodivergent or whatever it might be. I want them to, to see someone being open about talking about life just sucking sometimes and you know, why can't that person be me and and I make patterns why can't I combine the two and and let people express themselves in a creative way that life can be shitty and maybe doing a, a little cross stitch pattern where you can zone out and make something with your hands, be creative, can bring you or someone that they care about some joy. So I would love to get quotes or design concepts that you may have thought up in your mind, like reach out to me, let me know in the comments or via like a direct message or something, because I would really love to, to kind of expand on the, the mental health theme that I have in a couple of my, my cross stitch pieces. I'll, I'll add some links in my description of, of a couple of the ones that I have available already. Next thing that I want to chat about is new fonts. I, I have been amongst doing all of these works in progress. I have been fleshing out my next font. Uh, the name of it is going to be Kathy with a K because I'm up to the letter K in the alphabet. I haven't touched it for like a week, so I'm like, I'm trying to picture it in my mind again, I'll be quite honest. It'll be likely another backstitch font, and I'm hoping that it will kind of be in the same vein as sort of my Felicity font, but that one doesn't have any lowercase letters, so the, I'm working on the, the hard bit that for me, which is the uppercase, the lowercase, for some reason is like very easy for me to, to flesh out. I I haven't talked about this for a while, but the way that I design and develop and, and bring to life a new font is I will see a specific letter that is in a specific style and I will branch out from there, basically. And, and most of the time that's a lowercase letter. So yeah, uppercase is usually tricky and that's what, what kind of like stalls me a little bit. And I do try to also do numerals too, which stall me like even harder. So it's coming, I promise. Uh, I'm working on it and yeah, it's going to be called Kathy. So stay tuned for that. The last thing that I want to chat about is just some things that have been going on. I went to my foot doctor uh, yesterday and got my first injection of the, I can't remember what it's called, the high, hyaluronic acid or something. And that hurt like hell. And I'm not looking forward to doing another three shots of that. My foot's really bruised, my foot. My toe is really bruised today, so that's good. But it doesn't hurt like it did yesterday. So that's good. I also got some, I also got some shoe inserts, which feel really strange because they're, the one for my left foot, which is the foot that has the broken toe, is is designed so it like it puts my weight mostly on the side of my foot, so that when I'm walking I don't put so much pressure on my big toe. It more like goes on on my other four toes. But it feels really strange to walk around in my shoes at the moment, and the woman that was fitting fitting them in my shoes was like. You gotta break them in, you gotta do like an hour first and then two hours the next day and yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to probably have some house shoes, which I'm not happy about. I am kind of a stickler for not wearing shoes in the house. So that's fun. Hopefully these injections help out because they suck. <laughs> I'm getting the next one done next Thursday, or this Thursday, I mean. And then the last two are um, like every fortnight after that. I'll be glad when it's done, basically. Hopefully it fixes it. Yeah, hopefully I'm all better by 
July. Yeah, July. <laughs> Last night I was looking through other cross stitch pattern designers shops mostly because I I've been brainstorming how I want to redesign my website's homepage. So I was looking at what other cross stitch designers set up their homepage, but I've been having a lot of trouble finding pattern designers that have websites that are kind of more modern. So let me know in the comments if you know of someone that has a website that wasn't built like 20 years ago. That would be super. But regardless of that, I, I did get caught in the rabbit hole of, of scrolling through their shops and looking at pattern designs and it made me remember that I was wanting to stitch something for my kids for their birthdays this year. So I don't think that's going to happen, but it might. The patterns that I was looking at were kind of in depth, so, but uh, their birthdays are in mid-June, well, the first half of June, both of my kids' birthdays are. So we'll see if that happens. Probably won't. We'll see how I go with all this first, I guess. My, I might eventually burn myself out after doing all these teacher pieces. Oh, that's the other thing. I actually have to do another one that's that's this size. Well, that's a bad one to show as an example as this one because my youngest daughter saw me working on these the other day and she was like, oh, can you make one for my, my teacher as well, please? And I'm like, but I made one for your teacher. And she's like, no, my substitute teacher. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> so in case you don't know, her teacher went on maternity leave last month. Now she has a, a substitute teacher, obviously, and she wants to give one to him. So I have to do a new design and I will likely put that one as last to work on and she can give it to him at the end of the week. But dang it. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of everything that I want to chat about. Uh, it's been nice to not have to sleep in the guest bed. I had to do that for five nights while my husband was isolating. I'm okay now. <laughs> it was really nice to go back into my bed on, on Tuesday. So that's kind of everything that I, I have to chat about. If you've got any questions, if you've got any concepts that you'd like to flesh out with me for commission pieces, let me know in the comments or via like direct message on Instagram or something like that. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.